All right. Hello, everybody. Let's make sure we're recording. All right. Um, today, we are going to be talking about um, making a BGM. And stuff you can do to make it fit. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I've made a couple of these videos already, so I'm slightly tired out. <laughs> um, I guess first things first, uh, we'll talk about the actual BGM. It has to be a certain size. Um, if it's not, uh, if it's larger than this size, then uh, it will, it won't work. It will fail, actually. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know the size. It's like three three seven one something, three three eight something like that. Uh, maybe maybe threes, maybe zero zero eight. That doesn't really help me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know how I'm going to find it. Uh, let me just type in. This should have it, I think. Here we go. Uh, three three seven one zero zero eight. Oh, what do you know? It's the right number. Um, yeah, it cannot be above this limit. Not the actual wave file, but the BCSTM must be underneath the size limit. Um, aside from that, uh, it's pretty simple actually. You pick a song. Um, I actually haven't picked a song, even though I am doing this video anyways. Um, but I did use one song to make a loop, and so that's why I'm showing this video. But uh, pretty much you pick a song, you can pick it from an OST, um, or like a video game song if you extract the video game. Uh, if it has a video game anyways. Um, otherwise, I mean you could find remixes on YouTube or something like that. Pretty much you need a song. Um, after that, you want the song to be roughly a minute to maybe two minutes um, for decent quality, high to decent quality. Um, anything more than that, and you might be pushing your audio quality down the drain. Um, so, where to start? Let's start with a... A brand new one with the actual sound effects or the actual song. So I believe it's somewhere in here. It might be a little bit hard to find. Just a little bit. Let me let me try this way. Find there we go. Uh, open container folder. Kill die. My other audacity window. Oh, I guess it's not here. Dang it. No, I want a new audacity window. There we go. Alright, so Kyodai. Um, I believe that means sibling or something. Don't know off the top of my head. But as you can see here, the, sun, the song is about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. But um, I didn't want to fit too. Uh, wait, is it still recording? All right, cool. Uh, I didn't want to fit uh, two minutes and thirty seconds because that would tank the quality. Um, let me see. Where is my blog? 
some time ago I tested it um, to see what the limit was for the sound effects or for the songs and uh, I came up with these two simple equations for a generic sort of uh, sample rate determining sort of thing for maximizing quality um, but if we went with uh, 200 uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds that would be uh, what 60 120 150 right 150 150 so pretty much the this is for a full loop um, full loop meaning you loop from this end to this end and then back a sub loop means that you have an introduction part so it can be like from here to here and then it'll go from the start of the loop to the end of the loop and then back to the start of the loop and then just loop there so you have a nice little intro and then the loop um, but anyways the equation is simple whatever sample rate you get out of this is the sample rate that you kind of want to stick with um, for the maximum quality for however long your clip is and so the number here is is uh, this blog post might be linked to the description uh, I might add a link in the description if I remember um, otherwise it's on my GBA temp it's on my blog you can find it eventually um, but anyhow the quality for this one is 19,486 around there the best quality which um, is less than half of the current quality that it's at or I wouldn't say quality but the sampling rate right and uh, if the sampling rate gets cut in half, the quality drops by an audible amount. So anything below that is also going to be pretty audible. And you don't want to try and drop it that low. Um, for the most part, try and keep it within the uh, 28,000 range and up. Maybe 26,000 and up. I haven't gone that low yet. I've gone to 28 and kind of stick there so far. <coughs> but uh, pretty much around a minute to a minute 30 is a good range for how long your song should be. Um, and uh, here I have my, my song uh, split up. I took out a lot of the repetitive parts. Um, pretty much all the repetitive parts anything that was like a duplicate like this one here and one of them in here and one of them in here and then I left this mostly alone and then uh, I believe I took out maybe one from here and then I put it back I think <laughs> something like that and I ended up with this nice little one minute and 20 seconds loop but uh <clears throat> one of the things you can do to make your loop uh, sound nice without any sort of like problems is to cut off the end of your loop and put it in the beginning um, this is if you can do that anyways like uh, this one starts before this one actually ends which is why I cut off the ending here and I put it on the front this is of course a full loop and it's not a sub loop it doesn't have any introduction phase of the song. I do have some themes that have that, but I'm not going to show that because it's not any different. And so once you have this, you can uh, see how long it is. Of course, this one's 1 minute and 20 seconds. And from there, you use these nice little equations here to give you your optimal uh, music quality. So this should be 80. And so this one should be around three, three uh, 36,500-ish. Um, you don't have to go precisely to the decimal. You can go to even just the ones place or the tens place or the hundreds place, whichever you prefer. I usually go through hundreds. Around about hundreds, it's, it's pretty okay. Um, but it should bring you, if you use these equations, it should bring you uh, really close pretty close to the uh, uh, limit, the file size limit. So as you can see here, 
this is a uh, three three seven instead of three uh, three three four instead of seven and uh, the size on the disc is the size on the disc is what you kind of want to go by um, this is just uh, the actual size is smaller but it gets allocated to this because that's how computers work apparently you know um, but uh, so yeah so with this, I actually do have a little bit of room. Um, if I wanted to, I could make it even a little bit higher, maybe like 550 or something, and it might still fit. But uh, this is a pretty accurate number, um, even though a lot of the a lot of the actual numbers are taken from more or less averages of uh, of sound effect or not sound effects of uh bgms that i actually converted um i spent a little bit of time converting them and then dropping the quality and then converting them again and i did that i don't know how many times for a couple of my themes came up with a couple of averages and calculated the number based off of that and so it gives you a fairly decent ballpark number um this is of course um if you're using the same program as i am then you'll end up. You'll be able to using. Uh, you'll be able to use these numbers if you use the same shit that I use. There we go. <sighs> um, so yeah, pretty much cut out your loop however you want it. If you want an introduction um, section, so like if I wanted an introduction, so if I want this to be an introduction section, you can get the ending of this um, in samples. So or wherever this initial part will end, and you get it in samples. And uh, from there, we just convert this. I have here uh, Yata plus. Um, it's pretty simple. Drag your wave, convert it to BCSTM. You pick a name for it. Blah. And then uh, it gives you this wonderful window. Um, this window is actually really nice. It's convenient and uh, can help you really easily um, so you want to toggle this if you have loop so that you can preview your loop um, this is only for previewing purposes down here um, this bar here shows you where your loop starts where your loop ends and then uh, when you have an actual uh, start and end you'll actually have this green section here which shows you your introduction phase um, now this song actually doesn't have an introduction but it does have a loop so I'll play that really quick, and then I'll show you how the introduction thing works. All right, so <clears throat> that's that. And let's say that you had a loop or a uh, initial section or an intro where you wanted it to start at whatever this is so let's say it's four four or something oh wait you got to keep in mind you need the frequency to be the same uh the sample rate otherwise your numbers are going to be different so make sure your sample rate is the same you don't have weird shit like me and so now that my sample rate is the same this will be the correct spot otherwise it would be in a different spot and it would mess up your loop so if I put this in it would be three eight nine six two zero and now instead of starting uh, uh, the loop from the very beginning it'll start the loop from here instead of this intro section you can still play this intro section when your 3ds starts it actually does play this intro section and then goes into the loop and so uh, if I did this, it does go into the secondary loop. And then after you're done selecting that, you click convert or OK, and then it'll convert it. And uh, if I wanted to do that. And uh, the result is the BGM that you can actually use. And you just rename this to uh, bgm.bcstm. You 
you copy it and then you put it into your uh, the same folder as your body.lz and then from there you're actually able to preview it with uh, Usagi uh, which is my theme editor of choice um, I would recommend it to everyone because <laughs> at the moment it is the best theme editor <laughs> um, it just so happens that Yada Plus has a uh, BCSTM converter and this one doesn't um, maybe one day it'll be added maybe it won't, I don't know but uh, let's see, if I open up my theme here you'll see you can load it and uh, you gotta make sure that your background music flag is enabled and everything for your theme and then you can play it stop it, pause it, and then this controls the volume for the entire program <laughs> not just not just the audio for the background music, but the entire program. So if you're listening to the C waves, it will also uh, lower the volume on that. Um, what's really nice is that you can have both the background playing, the background music playing, and test your sound effects at the same time. So you can hear if there's any uh, drowned out sound effects and make them louder or lower the audio, the volume of your BGM. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there's there's really not much to the BGM parts. Uh, you find a song, you cut it, you convert it, and you're done. <laughs> so uh, oh shoot, right. I should also talk about. Uh, oh no 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. That's for sound effects. Sound effects. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, the, that's that's it. There's actually not anything really pertinent. Um, at least at the moment. Uh, with regards to that, it's it's a pretty simple process. It's pretty easy. Possibly, Yata Plus might require you to have a, a what is it called? A CTR Wave Converter 32, but I don't think you have to have it, especially now that I look at it here, since I don't have it here, and I'm still converting stuff. Um, I guess you don't need it for converting that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, and I hope you make great 3DS themes. <laughs>